In a photoelectric effect experiment, it is observed that no electric current can be produced unless if the incident light has a wavelength that is shorter than or equal to 600 nanometers. A. What is the work function of the sample used in this experiment? B. What is the stopping voltage if the incident light has a wavelength that's exactly 600 nanometers? C. What is the stopping voltage if the incident light has a wavelength that is 500 nanometers? If no current is produced unless if the wavelength is less than or equal to 600 nanometers, that means 600 nanometers is a special wavelength that is the threshold wavelength. So for part A, if we're looking for the work function, that would equal to HF, the cutoff frequency. And the cutoff frequency is related to the threshold wavelength. F equals to C over lambda. And this uh, wavelength would be the threshold wavelength. So this would be H. If we want our answer to be in electron volts, then we should use the H to be 4.14 times 10 to the negative 15th. And the C is 3 times 10 to the 8th. And then the wavelength is 600 nanometers. So this will give us 2.07 electron volts. If we want our answer to be in joules, then we should use the H that is the stand in the standard unit. B, the stopping voltage. The stopping voltage is used to measure the maximum kinetic energy. So maximum kinetic energy is Q times V. Q is 1E for an electron, and then the V would be the stopping voltage. Because when the current is stopped, all that kinetic energy is turned into potential energy. So the maximum kinetic energy equals to U, which is Q times V. The maximum kinetic energy is also the HF, the photon's energy, minus the work function. If I keep everything in electron volts, again, my H would have to be 4.14 times 10 to the negative 15th. And uh, times the frequency would be the C, 3 times 10 to the 8th, divided by the wavelength, which is now 600 nano. And then minus the work function we found earlier, that's 2.07. Of course, if I do this calculation, I should get zero. So in this case, we didn't really have to go through the trouble for this calculation because at 600 nanometers, that's the wavelength, the threshold wavelength. That means that this frequency is the cutoff frequency. So H times the cutoff frequency equals to the work function. So HF of the cutoff frequency minus the work function has to be zero. Now part C, again, the maximum kinetic energy is Q times V, so it's 1E times the stopping voltage, which is HF minus the work function. Now this frequency is not going to be the cutoff frequency, so we do have to carry out this calculation. So this is 4.14 times 10 to the negative 15th. The Frequency is C, 3 times 10 to the 8th, divided by the wavelength. Now the wavelength is 500 nano. And then minus the work function, which is the answer in part A, 2.07. So if we carry out this calculation, we will get 0.414, and that will be in electron volts, because that's an energy electron volts. And what we want is the stopping voltage. So if we just cancel the E's, we will find the stopping voltage is simply 0.414 volts. Because after we cancel that E, this is the volts. Because stopping voltage is a voltage. So that's the answer for part C.
because we're dealing with electrons. And here we have E times V. It is convenient for us to use electron volts as the unit for energy, at least usually for photoelectric effect problems, that's the case.